introduction body and conclusion this is the structure end of the webinar <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> right there's so much more in this structure all right all of you know that you have to write an introduction body and conclusion hamoma dannawa introduction ekak kone body ekak kone conclusion ekak kone namut meka athule kohomada liyanne kiyana eka thamai godak kattiya danne natte right godak kattiya danne natte introduction eke liyanne monawada body eke liyanne monawada conclusion eke liyanne monawada kiyana eka thamai godak kattiya danne natte right all right before we go into the structure look at a few essay examples right now guys for those of you who are doing ielts for the first time look at these essays these are not your typical o level a level type essays that you wrote these are very in detail opinion based complex essays okay some people view conflict between teenagers and parents as a necessary part of growing up while others view it as something negative which should be avoided discuss both these views and give your opinion most high level positions in companies are filled by men even though the workforce in many developed countries is more than 50% female companies should be required to allocate a certain percentage of these positions to women to what extent do you agree guys look at these topics all right these are not your typical essay topics these require certain amount of creativity these re require certain amount of knowledge to write right these are not simple now we talk about idea generation how can you find good ideas to write about these specific topics number 1 your personal experiences will really really help okay your personal experience number 1 would really really help so my best suggestion is go and take some ielts themes essay writing themes now if you in our classes we give you a study pack i told you we have listed out themes okay but you don't need that to do that you can just go on google search okay what are the ielts themes get a list of themes under each theme look at the different essays and write down your personal experiences under each of these essay topics stories personal experiences that you have had ogolonge jeevithe addakim ekka munawada me essays walta liyanna puluwan udaharana kiyana eka ogollo issellama liya ganna mokada api gihin research karanna kalin api gihila statistics hoyanna kalin api gihila research papers kiyawanna kalin issellama api gawa thiyana deyin prayojana ganna epa we have to take advantage we have to take use of our personal examples if we don't have that then no point okay so all of these different different themes you have personal experiences you have a personal opinion tamata adahasak tiyenawa me topic sambandhin all of these topics is essay writing walta dena hama topic ekakma opinion based essays මේක එක එක කට් එක කියනවා සමහර ඒව ඔපිනියන් බේ සමහර එහෙම නෑ හැම එකම every single essay you get is opinion based okay there is no essay that ever you can check from cambridge book 1 to cambridge book 19 there is not a single essay which they have given that is not opinion based so always you have to write an opinion okay and so you need to go and talk about you need to go and write down your personal experiences okay you need to go and talk about your personal experiences so take a number of themes take a number of essay topics start writing down your personal experiences that is number 1 number 2 you can do the same thing i told you earlier which is listen to ted talks listen to podcasts and then use those ideas and start writing essays that's number 2 use those ideas and start writing essays number 3 this is one of the best 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 ways in which you can generate ideas debate or talk about specific ielts topics with your friends okay friends family anybody who will help you to do better at the ielts exam select a specific topic debate that topic with that person what happens when you debate now today 
I, so I do public speaking training as well, right? And I was training a model for Miss Sri Lanka, right? Now, her problem is that she can speak good English, but when she has to speak in front of a crowd, she gets scared, right? Now, one of the things I told her was, okay, identify what you want to talk about. Because at Miss Sri Lanka, they ask certain questions. Why, what are you going to use this platform for and all of that? I said, select a theme and then debate that theme or discuss that theme with your friends. The more you discuss and the more you debate, you start finding points to beat the other person in the debate. Anit Pudgala or Paradhan, Anit Pudgala or Vada Yamkisi Deya Khonda Ta Ki Anna, Oya Points Hoya Nava. Right? Minna Mehemo Hoela Hoela Hoela, Oya Ta Honda Discussion Neka Kadi Facts Figures Ek, if you can win the debate, if you can win the argument, if you can win the discussion, if you can carry on a good discussion, that means you have generated enough and more ideas to write an essay. And you will remember it like, it'll, it'll be embedded in your head like cement. Right? Because when you argue with someone, you never forget it. Do you understand? So this is the best way. With your mother, father, husband, wife, son, daughter, pick somebody and talk about these topics. Nothing beats that. All right. And then you practice. Okay. All right. With that being said, we are now going into the structure of writing an essay. Guys, write this down. Take screenshots. Do what you want. But understand this very, very, very well. If you write in this structure, I guarantee you can go for a six plus band score easily. Right. On top of this, if your cohesive devices and vocabulary is good, seven plus band score is nothing. All right. But you have to write in this structure. You have to understand what I'm saying. If you have questions, we'll discuss at the end. Okay. Trust me. I'll give you time. We'll discuss at the end. Okay. First of all, you have your introduction. Mulimatiana Handin Vima, introductory paragraph. Make the api deval tunak examine at a pen nan one. This is the first thing that the examiner sees. Make a tamai examine the akina palavenima de. Metana wa chora uttara clear at inanong. If you have written a bad answer here, if you have written a bad introduction here, that's it. Even if your body paragraphs are good, there's no point because the examiner has already got a bad first impression. You get what I mean? This is so important. You need to show three things to the examiner. They will tunak examiner to pen no only. Number one, you need to show you have understood the question. Prashne teruna kiela vaya pen nan no only. You have understood the question. Number two, you need to show what is your opinion on the question. Mage mate mukad, vayage mate mukad me prashne gana. Third one, tungwenyeka. How are you going to elaborate your opinion? Tamage adahasa, tamage mataya, kohumada tama diggasan, elaborate karan. Right? Pahadala den, pahadili karan. Right? Did you understand the question? What a prashne terunad? Prashne sambanding oage mate mukad? E mate oya pahadili karan ne kohumada. Me deval tuna. These three things. You need to show the examiner in the introduction. How can you do that? Kohumada eka karan. Number one, paraphrase the fact based statement. Right? The mulim api mokadda karan ne prashne teruna kiela api penna noni. Prashne teruna kiela api penna noni. Prashne teruna kiela kohumada penna noni. Menna me prashne aragena api apema vachaning eka lianna oni. Hammer prashnema tienava statement tekak. There is a statement in every question. If you look at this in the advertising, businesses nowadays usually emphasize that their products are new in some way. Right? This is a statement. This is not a question. This is the question. This is a statement. If you look at this, same thing. This whole thing is just a statement. Make a nikang line nekak with right. It's only a statement. Here, this is just a statement. 
we take this statement and we write it in our own words api apema vachanen me statement ekak liyana pahadilida menna me vidiyata da metana mokadda tiyenne in the advertising businesses nowadays usually emphasize that their products are new in some way menna meka thamai statement ekak meka apema vachanen api liyaddi api poddak vachana wenas karala synonyms use karala samana pada yodala we are going to write it in our own words in today's context most businesses tend to highlight the novelty of their products in their marketing campaigns that's one way or we can say companies today often emphasize that their products are innovative or fresh in some aspect of their advertising same thing right same thing but in our own words what does this show the examiner right this student has clearly understood the question this student has clearly understood the question do you get it that's what they are saying all right number 2 your view on the topic your opinion waage mate waage mate mokadda kiyana eka pahadiliwa kiyanne i guys this is called a cohesive device mekata kiyana cohesive device ekak kiyala mokada meken api pennanne මොකක්hari සම්බන්ධතාවයක් ඒ කියන්නේ මේකෙන් අපි පෙනනවා මගේ මතේ මෙන්න මේකයි අපි කනෙක්ෂන් එකක් ඇති කරනවා right මගේ මතේ මෙන්න මේකයි i believe that highlighting a products originality is a smart marketing move make a positive it's a positive development right මේක අහලා තියෙන්නේ is a positive or negative development ඔහොම කියලා තියෙනවා it's a smart marketing move smart marketing move means positive development and the majority of businesses do this as a disruptive marketing tactic in an effort to increase their market share this is my opinion now the examiner knows okay he has understood the question he has an opinion on the question what is that opinion it is a positive development it is a positive develop do you get it do you understand right first of all we show the examiner that we have understood the question then we show our opinion guys most people will do these two ona teacher kenek gen igena ganna onama kenek me deka karana anivarya mokada me deka kare nattam kohomath fe right ha bai man kiyanne 90ak dena meka karana 90ak 95ak karana meka ada wenakan බංගාවට එක්සෑම් එක ෆේල් වෙලා ආපු වෙන ටීචර්ස් ලගෙන් ආපු තනියම් පාඩම් කරලා ආපු 100ට 100ක් දෙනා මේක කරන්නේ නැහැ they never do this they never ever ever do this right but this is so important not because i am telling mama kiyana nisa nemei this is ielts cambridge recommended it's in the teachers guide right it's recommended but most people don't know පොඩක් අය දන්නේ නැහැ right but so important මෙතනදී මොකද්ද කරන්නේ ඔයා කොහොමද වාගේ උත්තරේ පැහැදිලි කරන්න කියන එක ඔයා ලියන්න ඕනේ you need to write how you are going to defend your opinion this is your opinion this is how i am going to elaborate on it look at this i have presented two supporting reasons to validate my stance followed by a conclusion i have presented two supporting reasons to validate my stance follow back what does this show the exam what does this show the exam number 1 it shows you have planned your answer before writing no one does this guys no one does this okay it clearly shows the examiner that you have planned how you know you have clearly said i am only going to write two supporting reasons to validate my stance to say why this is a positive development i have written two points two paragraphs followed by a conclusion this shows the examiner that you have planned your answer this shows the examiner how you are going to write the rest of the essay this shows the examiner what to expect in the rest of your essay now let's say you have written let's say this is a advantages and disadvantages type question 
right now these are positive or negative ne so definitely we are writing two points to support one side okay but let's say it's an advantages and disadvantages type question you can say i have presented one supporting reason to validate my stance along with one point to the contrary contrary means to the other side followed by a conclusion i have presented one supporting reason to validate my stance along with a point to the contrary followed by a conclusion that clearly shows you are writing one advantage one disadvantage and a conclusion beautiful right definitely you can go for a good score you can create a good impression in the mind of your examiner if you write in this structure right very easy so this is how you write your introduction all right someone has asked is it okay to use i when we say the opinion yes of course it's it's obviously okay to use i because it's your opinion i believe do you get what i mean now someone has asked where is the thesis statement guys the thesis statement is just a fancier way of paraphrasing the question right or paraphrasing the fact based statement this fact based statement is your thesis statement it's given in the question itself you're basing your entire answer on this specific thesis abdul do you get it right you're basing your answer on this specific thesis so paraphrasing this is is your thesis statement do you get what i mean so people have different names for this right you say thesis statement and what not but it's the same thing you're paraphrasing the fact based statement right all right so that is the introduction that is how you write a good introduction for your essay all right now we come to the body paragraph all right guys some people ask the question how many body paragraphs do we have to write two flat two okay you can never write one if you write one that means you have failed okay like hands down there there's you can't write one it's impossible right three you can write there is nothing wrong with writing three body paragraphs okay but you can easily get to 350 words with two body paragraphs okay you can easily write 350 words with two body paragraphs then why are you writing three that's the question okay why do you want to write three when you can get to the specific word count with just two body paragraphs so my suggestion is to always just write three right my suggestion is sorry write two my suggestion is always to just write two body paragraphs regardless of the question type okay regardless of the question type just write two body paragraphs more than enough okay both body paragraphs have to follow the same structure okay sometimes i teach this to students and the first essay they send me for feedback what do they do the first paragraph they have nicely written they write a topic sentence they explain it example conclusion whatever second one they've just written some random answer and i'm like why both first paragraph and second paragraph need a similar amount of attention you have to write it in the same structure okay that is how you go for a good band score all right now if you actually follow the planning structure i told you what did i say you need to have a point you need to have an example okay so what are your two points here in the advertising businesses nowadays usually emphasize that their products are new in some way do you think it's a positive or negative development now we have said it's a positive development number one our point is going to be it will create brand awareness do you think that okay it creates brand awareness what is the example we can use a company like coca cola 
and say how they always innovate in their marketing whenever they are releasing a new product they always do something different to create brand awareness about the product right that could be one the second one could be increasing sales and revenue of a company that could be the point example could be we can use again a company like apple or microsoft where through their marketing strategies they are able to sell to more people because of the brand awareness they are able to reach more people and sell to more people thereby increasing the revenue of the company all right so now we have two points and two examples when we are writing the first paragraph we need to write definitely four sections okay it can be more than one sentence but these are definitely four sections okay first one is the topic sentence here we clearly write what is our point per paragraph we can have only one point in a single paragraph don't write two or more points do you get it in one paragraph you can have only one point ek paragraph ek ek point ekak vitarai thiyena puluwa then oa kiyenawa nan brand awareness kiyen ek athi wenawa kiyala you only can write about brand awareness in this paragraph you write the topic sentence on it you give an explanation on it you give an example on it you conclude it again right but it's only this one point brand awareness so what is the topic sentence first of all promoting a product's novelty in advertising can aid companies in boosting brand recognition okay promoting a product's novelty in advertising can aid companies in boosting brand recognition do you understand right then you explain it now to explain it i have used only one sentence but of course you can use two or three sentences that's not a problem okay so we explain this we say when businesses introduce a new product they frequently spend money on marketing initiatives to generate buzz and raise consumer awareness so i first of all i wrote the point then i elaborated on that then this is so important guys if you don't give an example you don't have an answer very simple okay if you don't give an example you don't have an answer so always 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 you have to include an example okay an example could be your personal experience it could be a generic point um it could be anything but you have to use an example you can use personal experiences most people say you can right and that is true you can use your personal examples but a generic example would be better because the examiner would definitely have heard of coca cola and how they marketed their products they would not have heard of abc company that is run by you do you get it so if you have used an example that even the examiner is familiar with easily they will give the marks but otherwise they have to read it a bit more and if if even something is wrong the chances are high of you losing marks so general knowledge examples are better but definitely personal examples can also be used no problem okay now again these three sections everybody does okay every teacher everybody even on youtube you'll find all these this one no one does okay no one that i know who comes outside from outside from my sphere don't do this very few people right they don't conclude the body paragraph aniwaremma body paragraph ekata ogollo conclusion ekak dannama one right conclusion ekak dannama one body paragraph ekata right in a nutshell the may conclusion ekke api dewal dekak karana me dewal dekama ogollo karanna one right the product and brand get greater consumer recognition mokada api karala tiyenne metan kiyapu point ekak api summarize karala tiyena metana kiyapu point ekak api summarize karala tiyena making this a positive development in the field of advertising metana di mokada api karala tiyena what have we done here we have connected it to the question do you get it we have summarized our point and we have connected it to the question this is how you create coherence and cohesion guys 
This is how you create coherence and cohesion. You're showing what is the connection of this paragraph to the question directly. Directly, what is the connection that this paragraph has to the question? No one does this. Okay. But if you do this, immediately you stand out from everyone else. Do you get what I mean? Immediately, part, 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 immediately, you stand out from everyone else, right? Very, very, very important, okay? Now, some of you may have the question, what about cohesive devices? On If you go and listen to any IELTS webinar, or whatever on YouTube, they always talk about cohesive devices. Guys, cohesive devices are connecting words, okay? And yes, you have to use cohesive devices throughout your answer in order to go for a higher band score. But some of you may not know where to use them. I will give you eight cohesive devices that you can keep in mind and you can use to increase your band score and also to remember the writing structure or the structure of the body paragraph. Okay, I'll show you. Number one, if you are writing your first body paragraph, you always have to start and show that you are starting your first. So you can say first of all, or you can say firstly, right? Firstly. Or you can say to begin with. Any of these can be used to begin with, right? To elaborate, what can you say? To explain this further. Before you explain your point, you say to explain this further. Then when you're giving an example, you can say for example. And when you're summarizing your point, you can say in summary. Do you get it? In summary or in a nutshell. Okay, this is your first body para. Now, if your second body para agrees with the first, right? That means if both body paragraphs are talking about positive developments, if both body paragraphs are talking about positive developments, you can say furthermore, right? Moreover, in addition, right? You can use those. Now, again, you cannot say to explain this further. So you say to elaborate this in detail. Guys, write this down. I'm putting it onto the chat box, okay? For instance, right? And then you can say to summarize, right? Or you can say to conclude, right? To conclude. If your second body paragraph does not agree with the first, right? That means if you are writing like advantages and disadvantages, right? Then you can't say furthermore, moreover, you can't say those. You have to say on the contrary, right? On the contrary. You can say on the flip side, right? On the flip side. Right. You can say, however. Right. However, on the contrary, on the flip side, on the other hand. Right. Guys, now you can use these eight cohesive devices regardless of the essay you're writing. Mona essay kaliwat may utter ogolanta use karana pulua. Right. Cohesive devices use karana karana taramata. Ogolongi bands koika vadi venava. Mukad ogula pendana, mata hunda vocabulary kakti yenava, mata magi vakya magi paragraphs, hunda to connect karana pulua, hunda flow ekak ati karana pulua. Use these eight cohesive devices for sure because it will, one thing is, it will improve your marks by giving you better cohesive devices. Second thing is, it will help you remember the structure. It will help you remember the structure. All right. That is about the body paragraph. So I've given you another example yeah. for another body paragraph. All right. So furthermore, furthermore means that make examiner ge olu ata patagala ano. Teri na. Apni furthermore kela dala tiye di examiner na. Ah, then me udaliye pu ekke ma continuation ne kaktha mai me devaniye kar. Then mete na tip barang on the contrary kela examiner immediately na. Ah, udaliye pu ekka na venasse kaktha mai then mete na di 
ලියන්න යන්න කියන එක right so it's very clear to the examiner it's very clear to the examiner all right finally we come to the concluding paragraph all right we come to the concluding paragraph concluding paragraph should always start with in conclusion right in conclusion right <laughs> should always start with that what do you do you have to again write your personal opinion whatever you wrote in the introduction introduction ne ke liyapu opinion ekka ma oya aaye metana patan gaddi liyanna one like this okay to sum up or in conclusion i believe that presenting a product as innovative can have positive outcomes for companies this is your belief okay i believe that presenting a product as innovative can have positive outcomes for companies okay i've said it's a positive development then you summarize your body paragraphs whatever two body paragraphs you wrote just summarize it in one sentence okay maximum two sentences but one is better it not only enhances their market share but also spreads awareness about the product to a larger audience and creates a sense of accountability for the company to fulfill its promises do you get what i mean so very important you need to write your opinion then you need to summarize your points summarize your body paragraphs and finally you need to give a closing sentence as long as the company delivers a product of high quality i am of the opinion that this marketing strategy can be highly effective for any organization you get it you write your personal opinion you summarize the body paragraphs and the closing sentence can be something of your choosing but it has to be a strong closing sentence all right to show that this essay is done this is my final conclusion do you understand very important all right so that is the structure of the essay this is the overall essay guys right but i hope you clearly understood the structure all right i will now teach you what are the different types of essays right because there are different types advantages and disadvantages agree and disagree i will teach you what are those different types and how to answer each of those types of questions but this structure remains the same for everything the structure does not change okay all right so let's go into the different types of essays but before that if you have any questions you can ask and also guys reminder to take a screenshot of this right or just take a screenshot or no need to take a screenshot just type this website 24 and drop it on to the number on the group okay i have sent a number called ashen he is our student coordinator uh just take a screenshot and send it across to him right and yeah all right in the in the meantime i will answer a few questions so zeeshan has asked is it all together only two paragraphs yes you should only write two paragraphs all right you should only write two paragraphs you can write three like i said but not necessary guys if you want you can unmute yourselves and ask a question okay i have allowed you to unmute if anyone can... wants yeah go ahead yeah so let's say that uh, if i join your class and uh, i continue following your class and if i send my personal answers uh, would you be able to correct it and give a score will you yeah. do that personally so we will be giving you feedback on your writing feedback on your speaking so on and so forth we'll be doing personally yeah no so even though uh, it's a group classes uh if i send the answers and uh, all the other stuff so guidance if i want personally you will uh, assist me right thank you so much sir absolutely absolutely rajita has asked a question tuesdays i am unavailable is it possible to get the recordings yes guys almost all the sessions are recorded and anyway we give you the video course for free so all our sessions have been recorded from a to z all right so from listening reading writing speaking everything has been recorded we will be giving you access to that so even if you can't attend classes on a specific day you can go and check the video course video 
and we will also send the class recording as well all right mm. any other anyone else wants to unmute and ask a question you can go ahead all right indika has said do you have any sessions for speaking only then you'll have to book me privately i wouldn't recommend it's much cheaper to actually join the the group class but if you're booking me privately you can still drop a message to the number on the group uh, ashain will give you the details on that all right but i would recommend coming for the group class <laughs> individual can tend to be a bit more expensive all right Mm, do the same essay topics usually come for the exam guys that's what i said no one can predict the answers that will come for the exam okay like i don't know i can't tell you hey these these questions will come impossible because i don't know no teacher knows if a teacher tells you they know they're lying all right flat out lying i can guarantee that right what i can teach you is how to write the best possible answer for any essay doesn't matter what it is any essay how to write the best answer that's it okay that you can definitely do and that i can definitely teach you all right okay all right guys so if there are no other questions i will move on to the different types of essays uh, isuru has asked how much writing and speaking feedbacks will you provide guys I, i mean as much as possible i will give you feedback all right because at the end of the day if you join my class i have a responsibility to make you pass so i will be dedicated to that goal so if you if you send me 10 answers and if you say okay i want all 10 answers marked or i want feedback for all 10 i will do that right because at the end of the day i want you to get the best possible result because at the end of the day you're a testimonial to me if you get a band 7.5 or a band 8 i will obviously say hey i had a student who got a band aid so obviously you passing it benefits both of us so as many feedback as you want i will give it to ensure that you will get the best possible mark i'm just being brutally honest right uh so can you give tips for listening test mm yeah guys so again i can't do it right now so in our classes we cover everything you can attend the classes if that is um what you want all right after covering up all the classes with the availability can we sit even next year yeah of course so like i said if you want to if you are doing the exam even feb march april next year if you join in september you can come for all the classes after that for free all right so we are only charging you for one month 20000 bucks flat no additional fees no hidden fees everything after that is free all right not a single rupee am i taking from you after that right because look we understand that that times are hard you guys are going abroad because you all want a better life outside of sri lanka so i'm not charging exorbitant amounts of money not exploiting that i'm giving you the best possible deal that i can possibly give right 10 classes unlimited batches right so if what oh whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> guys okay unlimited class so that means you can join for months three months four months we've had people joining about three months before they take the exam and and they do it for free all right is it possible to get a band 7 with three absolutely you can absolutely get a band 7 with three to four months of practice definitely all right for sure okay all right guys types of essays agree or disagree this is the first type of essay that we are going to discuss all right there are two ways in which this question can be given to what extent do you agree or disagree or they will directly ask do you agree or disagree if you see the word or it doesn't matter if they say extent or what not if you see the word or just select one side either you agree or you disagree and write two paragraphs for that one side if you say i agree with this question two paragraphs about why you agree with the question clear doesn't matter whether they say to what degree or what extent or whatever if you see the word or then definitely you only have to write for that one side okay so two paragraphs for one side as to why you agree all right 
then advantages and disadvantages here also you might get positive or negative development so if you see the word or or kiyana vachane dakko aniwaren eka pattak thoragena e pattata vitarak uttara liyanna e pattata vitarak paragraphs liyanna if you see the word and advantages and disadvantages definitely you have to write for both sides de pattatama paragraph ekak liyanna one advantages walata ekai disadvantages walata ekai right definitely de pattatama liyanna one and kiyala tibbo outweigh kiyala tibbo do the advantages outweigh the benefits metanadi wa aniwaren eka pattak thora ganna one ekko advantages wedi ema nathan disadvantages wedi उंटेजेज or you can say there are more advantages than disadvantages therefore i am only going to write two advantages clear right problem and solution type question if you have solution only it's very easy they give you a problem and then you can just write two paragraphs about two different solutions but if they say write the problem and the solution what do you think are the causes for these problems and what solutions can you suggest there are two ways of writing this the first way is you can write first paragraph the problem second paragraph the solution okay this is one way of writing it the other way is first paragraph you write one problem and a solution so problem 1 and solution 1 and in the second paragraph you write problem 2 and solution 2 all right problem 1 and solution 1 problem 2 and solution 2 that is up to you all right but anyway only two paragraphs discuss type questions again they have given what have they given they have given one side of the argument and the other side of the argument and they say discuss both these views and give your opinion now definitely one of these views have to be your opinion may views deken ekak oage opinion ekak wenna one so you write what is your opinion and then what is the other opinion aniwaremma dekama discuss wenna one right two points are more than enough two points are more than enough all right so what is your opinion what is the other opinion both you have to discuss you just need to highlight what is your opinion clear finally you have direct questions these are the easiest types of questions because they are asking two separate questions why is it important to take care of them how should we take care of them so this is the first paragraph this is the second paragraph all right so paragraph 1 paragraph 2 all right simple all right All right, guys. So with that, we are done with the webinar today. There is a question. Let me answer that question. So when we are writing the essay, um, do we write four paragraphs all together? Yes. So you have your introduction, body one, body two, conclusion. Four paragraphs in total. Introduction, body one, body two, and conclusion. Kasun has asked a question, sir. Does your course cover tenses, grammar, vocabulary, idioms, sentence structure? no no we don't right we don't focus on grammar we only focus on the ielts exam right so we cover listening reading writing speaking we have one lesson focused on grammar but that is more about vocabulary development phrasing writing your answers to go for a higher band score if you are looking at basic to advanced grammar then you are looking at a maybe a spoken english class or a grammar class right so that's a bit different but in ielts class in our ielts class we don't cover grammar right uh is that enough two points yes now you have asked that question like three times <laughs> and the answer is still the same the answer is yes two points are more than enough you don't have to write more than that 
All right, so two paragraphs is all you have to write. Okay, Indika says, if I do general, can I transfer it to no? No, you can't. If you're doing it, you have to do it in one go. You have to do the UK VI general test because it is more expensive than the regular test. I believe UK VI is about 7,500 rupees or 8,500 rupees more expensive than the regular test. So you have to pay for it in advance and then, um, and then you have to, you know, uh, get the UK VI certification. All right. Guys, I won't be sharing this WhatsApp, uh, the PPT on WhatsApp. Again, like I said, I'm not sharing anything, not the recording, not the uh, PPT. Uh, that's why we are giving the discount code for the people who are joining the webinar, right? Because if anyone wants to learn further, if anyone wants any further material, because you get access to our study pack, you get access to our 10 day program, you get access to all of these things when you join our classes, right? Essay writing wise, you should not have a problem now. I have explained everything from A to Z. I have explained everything. I've explained the structure, the marking criteria. We've spoken about idea generation. We've, we've touched on vocabulary development. So if you guys actually implement what you have learned today, there is no way that you're getting less than a band 6.5, all right? then it's up to you to kind of practice, get good feedback and improve your vocabulary to the point where you're getting a band seven, 7.5 plus score. All right. So once again, guys, we are starting classes on the 12th of September. If you want to join, you can send it. You can send this webinar code to the number on the WhatsApp group. Don't send it here. Don't send it on the group. Send it to the number that we have sent on the WhatsApp group. All right, that's it. Uh, we are starting on the 12th of September, every Tuesday and Thursday from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Guys, I would also really appreciate if you can send a message on the group as to whether this was useful or not, right? Because if it was useful, then we know that we can do it again and again in the coming months. If it was not useful, then let us know as well because then we know, okay, we have to change a few things. So please drop a message on the group, on the WhatsApp group about your feedback. I would love to know. All right. All right, guys. So with that, we are done for today. Again, a reminder to send the webinar code if you wish to join our classes. All right. So hopefully you took a screenshot or hopefully you copied this down. WebSep24. All right, guys. So with that, we are done for today. Have a great day and hope you got some value from the webinar. All right. See you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.